So, their campaigns were actually very good, and results came up to John as the new LCSO sheriff. So, please congratulate him. Ooh, all right. Ooh, guys, I'm the new sheriff of Liberty County. Thank you so much, Mr. Ryan, and uh, thank you, everyone who voted in me. Thank you, everyone, for believing me. Um, it was it was a pleasure. Um, I'm I'm gonna make this county as great as it can be, and I'm gonna restore every single thing inside of LCSO. Give me about give me about three months, and LCSO will be the greatest department in the state, in the entire United States. All right, my time to get toured in, Mr. Ryan. Uh, I think we're about done here. I can't wait to get started, man. I'm like, it's it's going to be a very, very good experience. And I think, uh, I think I'll definitely enjoy it. And I'm ready. Go. So I, I want to get toured in. I want to get my car. I want to get my uniform. I'm very, very motivated today. I'll be there for your first day just to make sure it runs smooth. Yeah, that sounds about right. So we're currently on the way to Spring Lake because we're actually getting sworn in right now as the new sheriff. That's pretty cool. Um, we got a bunch of our deputies here. There are definitely way more deputies. Uh, Ryan, are they are they getting over here? I would assume so. Yeah. Okay. So I guess just our job to just wait around now. Um, dude, I, I can't wait. This is feeling really nostalgic at this point right now. It's feeling nostalgic and um, I can't wait. I, I think I'm the best person for the job. Not trying to, you know, brag or anything, but this is where you retired. Yeah, exactly. And I'm getting sworn in here as the sheriff. So that's pretty good. Um, so, I mean, hey, I, I think I'm the best man for the job. I think I got it. All right. Yeah, they're all starting to come in now. Welcome everyone, uh, find a seat, find a seat, find a seat. Future deputies in crime, off your phones, dang. You guys just got in trouble for being on your phone, that's tough. Oh man, I, I, that couldn't be me. I'm gonna be the one giving you guys orders now. But yeah, I can't wait to work with you all. I'm just joking around, but yeah, I can't wait to work with you all. You guys all look like you're, you're new deputies in the force. You weren't there when I was there eight months ago, so... Got a lot of work to do on training and stuff, but I think we got it. Also, I got a lot of work to do myself. I'm kind of out of shape right now, and I really need to hit the gym again. I can't wait to use some of the equipment. I'm going to try to use the sheriff's office budget to get some more equipment. Like, that gym definitely needs some more equipment. All right. Hey, Ryan, where'd you go? Are we all here? All right. All right I'll, I'll, we'll begin whenever you're ready. All right, Ryan, I think it's good to begin. Um... So, okay. All right, hand on my heart. Um, everyone, if you want to face this way, you might have to uh, turn around, but we're going to begin. So, um, okay, this is, this is going to be a deep one. I solemnly swear that I will support and defend our Constitution and the state of Liberty County from all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States. Welcome everyone, your new sheriff of Liberty County. We will make this department a better place. I know a lot of you guys are fed up. Um, a lot of you guys are detectives and SWAT members in your normal uniforms. I know that, um, you know, we're, de we're definitely going to try to make this place better. You know, I mean, I recognize some of you. I, I definitely do, but it wasn't as many. And a lot of you guys are new since I was in office. Uh, if you don't know who I am, um, I used to be a lieutenant until I retired off of an injury. So, um, I, I bet you all probably know who I am just because of like the stories and stuff, but you guys will get to know me more and I'll work with a lot of you one-on-one. -on -one. So I remember you. It's been a good eight months. Yeah. Um, I'm ready to get back to work though. They brought me in to, as sheriff for a reason. Um, definitely. I still remember that welfare call. Yeah. I remember a bunch of welfare calls. I remember you. Yeah, I remember you too. You're one of the faces I just can't forget. All right, I think that went pretty well, Ryan. Um, 
I think it's time to get dressed, if you know what I mean. Putting it on the duty pants, so I, I think it's it's going to be awesome. Um, I got five stars, and also, don't I get my medals back? If I'm, I mean, ribbons, medals, ribbons. I get my ribbons back from when I was in the forest before. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds, sounds good. Um, I was also thinking about hosting a meeting today with the detectives. Uh, detectives and SWAT, because I want to mainly focus on them. I heard the SWAT commanders having a really, really, like, yeah. I heard, I heard the SWAT commanders having, like, really bad issues right now and the SWAT hasn't haven't been performing up to what they need to um the detectives are just in disarray we're not handling investigations correctly um this is all reports of what I had from the old sheriff yes I still have contact with him and other staff members I also needed to appoint my undersheriff so we're gonna also have to do that as well um because currently I will have no one to help me so I'm gonna have to do that so that sucks but I, I'm sure I'm sure we'll find the right one. And as always, we're looking very, very spiffy. Got my own uniform, got the stars, and got the ribbons. So, yeah, I, I really like this. I'm not taking this off all day. But I do have a meeting to get to, so we better get to that. All right, everyone, welcome to our meeting. Uh, we currently have some of the SWAT here and some detectives here. I know it's not all because some, some of them are off-duty. We'll have this meeting again. Um maybe on Monday or Tuesday when everyone's in here. We're also going to email all the messages out. If you don't know me, uh, I think all of you were at the thing anyway. Um, I'm your new sheriff, Sheriff John. Um, that's what you'll address me by. I don't play around, but I do play around, so keep that in mind. Do something dumb and you're getting booted, all right? But we're here to discuss some issues that we have with... The SWAT and detectives. So from what I hear, detectives first, you guys are failing to get investigation reports done. Um, I hear that there were a few stabbing incidents, a few, I, f I think it was one murder incident, and I heard there was some MVA incidents that you guys aren't able to complete. What's going on? I need you guys to really speak with me. And I, I really need you guys to be honest with me. We don't have an undersheriff in place, so he can't handle it either. Detective Parker, I need you to really, I need you to really, what's going on? Well, you type that up. SWAT, something's going to happen with you guys. I've heard there's been unsuccessful raids, unsuccessful operations that you guys need to complete. And I've seen some video footage and it's horrible. That Having a lot of crime to investigate should not be an issue. Only got high, yeah. You guys, I've seen all of you, and I've seen all of your faces in there. Don't lie to me. I'm not here to play around. SWAT will be getting, going through a bunch of retrainings. You guys will be required to be here at 6 a.m. every single day until you guys meet the um, physical training requirements. Don't tell me I have to go through all that pain again. You, you will. Until you guys meet the physical training requirements, you will. We'll be doing it in gear. We'll be doing it out of gear. We'll be hitting the gym every single day, and I'll be I'll be doing it with you guys. We're going to retrain. We're going to get all of our standards up. All right, Parker, what do you have for me? All detectives are to complete all the not done tasks by next week. All right, that's not really what I meant, but um, you guys heard him. Um, that's impossible. That is definitely possible. I've, I've looked in the paperwork. You guys do desk work pretty much all day. It's not impossible. Um... Get all those tasks done by next week. I'm sure Parker here will help you guys in doing that. Uh, we, we need everything completed, like ASAP. So, all right, don't complain because it, it's not like, it's not hard. That's your job. If we're having cases going unsolved because we're of lack of work ethic or something, that's not going to be good. All right, detectives, I'm not really much worried about you. I'm really worried about the SWAT department, um, but you guys will be going through reforms as well your command might be going through reforms you guys might be going through reforms if i don't see a drastic improvement within the next week or two it won't be good sorry for my attitude it's all good i need you to write me a report on why the swat 
um, team hasn't been performing up to its standards. What do you guys need? What is the current issue? Why can't we successfully breach houses? Why can't we successfully um, communicate as a team? Why aren't we spending extra time practicing these things? I need that report on my desk by tomorrow morning. Got that? All right, guys, to wrap this up, I know this is probably a bad first impression. I'm not always like this. I really want to fix the sheriff's office. I really want to fix this department. I really want it to be something that people come in here and enjoy. I want you guys to enjoy your jobs. But we can only doing we can only do that by having a good functioning system. I hope you I hope you know that. So All right. You guys are all dismissed. Get to whatever work you need to do. You guys you guys know your assignments. Um if you need me, I'll be in my office hopefully or I might go on patrol. Um but reach out to your uh, high command staff. And they'll have stuff for you. Bringing in your two SWAT officers into my office at the building. Yeah. Is there a reason? Like, what's what's going on? Um, I heard them talking. And you interrupted them. So I, I really don't. Disrespecting you multiple times. Okay. Do what you gotta do. I don't care. Do what you gotta do. Um, I can just find new guys anyway. If they're gonna do that, then they clearly don't want to be here. So, okay. All right, so I think that is one of the last of the boxes. We're currently moving everything from my house that I want in my office. Um, I have a few furniture pieces. I have some few paperwork pieces, um, stuff that I would need for my office. We're currently moving it in using one of the sheriff trailers. So we're going to go ahead and move that. It still has the old livery on it because we rarely use it. So I think it's just a good piece it, it definitely fits more than it's going to fit inside the back of my truck this is actually uh, mine as well so they had my car ready and everything i think this was another deputy's car before it became mine again so hopefully it's not too overused i've got my entire week pretty much planned out as of right now i got my entire week planned out uh we're gonna go on a few patrols we're gonna get our daily chocolate milk i don't know if any of you remember I used to do that and I stopped right after I got injured. We're going to start doing that again. Um, I got my whole week planned out. We have a few meetings to go to. We have a bunch of paperwork to file. That's just obvious. Um, and we have a bunch of new signings to do. We have a bunch of new money that I can spend. I'm going to start improving a lot of things. Um, we got a undersheriff to a point. So I'm currently looking for one. Um, so we're just going to see whoever stands out and we're going to try to give them the job. But for right now, I'm just getting everything settled in. That's going to be pretty much the rest of the day. Um, I will go on a patrol later as well. So we're going to see some nighttime patrol action since the sun is like almost ready to set. But for right now, let's just get our office prepared. All right, we're on our first patrol of... In eight months. So actually, let me put myself on duty. Um, dispatch, go ahead and show me available for calls. I'm going to be 10-8 at this time. So I do want to head into Gas and Go and get my daily chocolate milk. But I think I'm going to do that in a few because the sun is setting. And um, I think it'll be better to do it later. Then I have something to drink later. I'm going to be on patrol for a few hours because I have nothing better to do and my shift doesn't end. Um, so, yeah, I guess it's better. What is going on here? They have a traffic stop in front of the movie theater. Horrible, horrible place to have a traffic stop, but... Yeah, I got confused. For some reason, I forgot how the light system worked in Springfield. Um, but technically, I had the right away, so I don't know what that guy was doing. Come on, buddy. It's a green light. I really... We need to go. Come on. What is he doing? Bro. Buddy, drive correctly. Dude, I was, I've been following him for a minute. He's been, like, on and off the sidewalk. I didn't think it was too bad until now. Okay. He just seriously ran over the... All right. First traffic stop of the new patrol. It's only literally been 45 minutes. I don't know why the crime rate is so bad down here, but it is, and that's horrible. So... I'm surprised Buddy pulled over instead of pulling over while we're on top of the mountain. With the way he's driving, he definitely would be up on the mountain by now. Alright, so let's call it in. 
This patch, go ahead and show me on a 1011. Uh, no, nah, I'm good for now, man. I'm good for now. This patch, go ahead and show me on a 1011 with a black truck. Uh, seems to be at Postal 1102 on Cedar Street. No 1032s required at this time. I'm not going to run the plate. I'm just going to go up and talk to this man. If something's wrong, then I will. Uh, hey, sir. How you doing today? Can you shut the engine off for me, please? Sir, you're kind of speaking very funny. Um, okay. Here's what I'm going to have you do. Can you step out of the vehicle for me, please? Just step out of here. Kind of hard to, um, talk to you anyway. Step out of the vehicle for me, please. Come on. What's the officer problem? Yeah, that's the problem. Step out of the vehicle. I'm not going to ask you again. Let's go. This guy's definitely on something, so... Alright, sir. Come to the sidewalk with me. <clears throat> What's all that smoke coming out of your... Dude, don't tell me you've been smoking in your car. Really? Sir, stop running, or you will be tased. I don't get what the problem is. Hey, I need help over here. Taser, taser, taser. All right. Dude, you smacked into a tree. Oh, my God. Okay, sir, put your hands behind your back once and for all. Thank you so much. He's... Guys, he he must be, like... Dude, go into his car. It's full with smoke. He must be, like, very, very, very on something right now. Like, horribly, dude. He can't even sh think straight. He can't talk straight. He must have been doing it. No. You're... You, no, you're not a brother. You're not even talking correct Spanish, buddy. Anyway. Um. What, what are you... What were you doing in there? Okay, talk Spanish then. What were you doing in there? Ingle? Okay, yeah. You're not even talking correct Spanish. Sir, do you have anything on you that can hurt, stab, or poke me, please? And you have a sword. I doubt that. Okay, sure. Okay, you don't have anything. It's okay. Found a couple of knives in there. Okay, probably just nothing. But inside of the car, is there anything on? Is there anything lighted on fire? Um, something that would cause him to get dizzy and allow smoke in the vehicle. Uh. Anyway, I'm gonna put him in the cage because he definitely needs it. Who would have thought on the first traffic stop of my newly career that it would be like this? Yeah, you guys smell that, right? <laughs> That's he was doing that while we while I was pulling him over. So, um, yeah. Why'd you make me smell that? You're a, you're a sheriff. Don't don't be so soft. He was doing that while I pulled him over. How do you think I felt? That's the reason he's acting like this right now. Even the mask doesn't work. You don't... Okay, whatever. All right, search the vehicle. Let me know what you guys find. I'm going to go search this guy's records up. All right, he's in his uh, mid-20s, and he... He has... He doesn't have any history. He's just... He's just, like... It's just too much for him right now. His head is so filled with air that he can't even talk straight. So we're going to have to get a doctor over here. You got a pen? Uh, Yeah, sure. Here you go. Also, do you mind calling uh, for a medic over here, please? So for some reason, it's not letting me change my radio channel. So I just want to make sure this guy's okay. Before I bring him into the jail, um, to the correctional facility, I need to make sure he's okay. Because he clearly can't be on the road. So that, yeah. Uh, also, I, I need somebody to request a tow truck, though, because um, we I, it won't let me change radio stations. I'm going to have to get a new... I'm gonna have to get a new radio, unfortunately. Yeah, buddy, you're gonna stay in this vehicle, okay? Hold on, uh, we got a call, anybody? Um, I'll take that one. Uh, we got a few units. Hold on, I didn't even read it. Let's see what it is. Uh, someone with a weapon, okay. Uh, alright, I'll, I'll be taking that one, guys. Finish this up for me, if you would. Alright, it doesn't say any specifics, but I assume if there was somebody actively shooting, we would hear it. Especially with this call being uh, very, very close. I think we would definitely hear it. Uh, dispatch, go ahead and show me en route. Uh, currently about a thousand feet away. No, oh, I over-exaggerated. Maybe like 1,500 feet. Alright, looks to be this house down here. Um, 
don't see anything right now. Uh. Okay. Um. What's going on? Hey, where's the guy with the weapon? Need to know right now. Oh my, I didn't even see that. Hold on, I gotta get my weapon out of here. Oh my god, I didn't even see that. Hey sir, put the weapon down. Put the weapon down. Why are you threatening him? Put it, put it down. Put it down or we will all shoot. Put it down. Put it down right now. Come on. I, I don't care. If you put it down, we can hear your story. If you put it down, I'll let you talk to us. Put it down. I need the key. Alright, I don't care what you need right now. Put the weapon down and we can talk to you. Why are you, you why are you menacing people? Why are you using the weapon to threaten people? Come on. What are you doing? Put it down. Put it down. I don't care if he locked the house. That doesn't that doesn't matter. Put it down. I'm not gonna ask you again. Jeez, I am not gonna ask you again. Put it down. Five seconds. Five. You five four. Put it down. Somebody go collect. Go collect. Now I'm I want to hear what what's going on. All right, we're willing to hear from you. Okay, we're we're willing to listen to you. All right, what what's going on? Open carry is legal. Remember that. But menacing is not legal. He locked the door. Okay, why do you care if he locked the door or not? What what's what's the big issue here? Is it whose house is it? First of all, whose house is it? We're roommates. Okay. Are you guys in college or something? Could that be the issue? Okay. Alright. Um. Why won't he give you the key? What, what, what's, what's going on? I don't know. You don't know the reason? Okay. Alright, I'll bring him out. Hey, uh. Deputy, make sure he stays here. Don't let him go. Sir! Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out here. What's going on? Why aren't you giving him the key? If this is both of your guys' place to stay, he made a joke about my girlfriend. And that's why you won't give him the key. Alright, give him the key or I'm reporting you guys to campus staff immediately. This is both of your guys' house. I don't care what he does to your girlfriend. Fight. I for Fight for all I care. I'm not going to end you up anywhere. Alright, you sir. Put your hands behind your back. Your hands behind your back. Face the other way and put your hands behind your back. Alright, sir, you're under arrest for menacing with a weapon. Um, as far as open carry limit goes, you did not open carry. You were threatening him with a weapon. Alright, sir, do you have anything on you that could hurt Sab or poke me? I said this already to another guy. This is literally the second incident in one day. Is this why, like... The sheriff's office having such a hard time. I know I don't get it. All right, so um, Charlie, do you have a cage in your vehicle? I can put him in there. Um, he probably won't get charged with much, but he's definitely getting out of his college. All right, where's your vehicle? Is this one of your vehicle? Okay. All right, yeah. Go ahead and put him in there. Um, get him in that cage. Okay, sir. Um, just wait to hear. You'll probably get a notice or a call from Liberty County Sheriff's Office. Um, and then we will probably assist you. I'm not sure right now. You'll probably get a, a call from one of our detectives. Um, and you should be good. But I'm very sorry. I know you should not be getting threatened with your life for that. Yeah, I, I know, I know. Open carry is legal in Liberty County, but he was menacing you. So... I was literally going to give it to him. Okay. Yeah, I guess he he's just someone you can't joke around with, unfortunately, you know. So, as far as this house, it's your place for now. Um, I don't know what the court is going to do to him. I don't know what's going to happen, but just following our laws. He's been like that since middle school. All right. All right. I don't want, I don't want to get into your life story, but is there anything else I can help you with? Anything that I need to know? Or no? News is here? Why is the News 5 here? No, I think I'm all good. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Alright, guys. Clear out. Um, Where's that weapon? Who picked up that weapon? Where's that weapon at? Charlie, you got the weapon? Alright. Uh, Keep the weapon on you and bring it into the detectives. Yeah, bring it into the detectives when um, you get it. They'll put it um, where it needs to go. 
All right, dispatch, go ahead and, and show me 10-6. I'm going to gas and go. Because what happened? What? What? This was the most unbelievable. I think this was the craziest shift I've ever had on Sheriff Sunday. Like, I genuinely think this was the craziest shift that I've ever had. And you guys can count me wrong in the comments, but this was crazy. Like, a guy with a weapon and a guy who decides to run from me on a traffic stop. So... I don't first day of sheriff definitely things are definitely gonna have to get changed sooner or later like it's crazy um we're also gonna have to like really dive into how much crime there's actually been because if this was the first day i can't imagine what the other days are gonna be like but we're also gonna get our chocolate milk and we're gonna head on with our day all right well we're gonna head off shift now it's been a good it's been a good patrol um just turn nighttime anyway so i'm done for the day this has been the most chaotic day ever like first day and i can't wait for next sunday uh hello who hey are you okay wait you're the swat commander hey what's what's going on why the very late like very very late call i was just seriously we just started reform why are you retiring? Okay, I'm not gonna say no, but like, I can't take it anymore. I literally just... I... The SWAT is horrible. You're the commander of the SWAT. Why is, like... I'm going to my law office, office and locking this door. Why? What? I don't, I don't get it. Like, I actually don't get it. Okay, but you're the commander. You're supposed to be leading them. You're supposed to be leading them. Okay. Well, you know, the point of getting a new sheriff was to work with the sheriff, but I guess that isn't going to happen either. All right. I know. Okay. I'm going to need you to come in the station tomorrow morning so we can sort this out. All right. Okay. I'll see you in the morning. Are you serious? My SWAT commander just quit. So now I have to grab an undersheriff and a new SWAT commander. I'd... I did sign up for this, but, like, I'm honestly so mad right now. This is going to be a very, very hard few months. I'll tell you that.